All right, today in the New 50 New, we're gonna talk about everybody's favorite crazy lady, and that is Harleen Quinzel, better known as Harley Quinn. So today's video, I'm gonna talk about my favorite version of Harley, as well as some of my favorite Harley art, and her new animated series, which is absolutely amazing. And we're also gonna to try to ignore the fact that I have the world's grossest pimple on my face. Let's do this. Okay, so Harley Quinn was actually created by Paul Dini and Bruce Timm. And her first appearance wasn't actually in comic books. It was actually from the Batman animated series in 1992. Funny thing is, I did not grow up to the Batman animated series. I grew up to Batman, Burt Ward, Adam West, right? So yesterday was actually the first time I introduced myself to the Batman animated series. Everybody talks about how classic this is. A lot of people say that it's their Batman. I'm only a few episodes in, I haven't quite gotten to Harley Quinn yet, but I'm quite excited to uh, finally get on board the Batman animated series train. Her first appearance in comic books was actually a year later in 93 in the Batman Adventures issue 12, which is a very, very sought after book. From what I can tell from the cover, it's very, very much in the same art style as the Batman animated series. But today's video is not about the history of Harley Quinn. Today's video is about my favorite versions of Harley Quinn, uh, as well as some of my favorite art that I've seen of her and also her new amazing animated series which just came out. So remember, I'm new to the world of comics. So my introduction to Harley Quinn is actually very much like the world's introduction to Harley Quinn. I don't believe I actually knew anything about Harley Quinn until Margot Robbie's portrayal of her in the Suicide Squad movie, which is not a great movie. But that movie did introduce Harley Quinn to the mainstream world. And next thing you know, there were just Harley Quinn cosplayers everywhere, which I'm not complaining about. Now, even though I wasn't a fan of the film, I must say I did enjoy her little origin story in the film with her and the Joker. It's a nice little love story, you know? So as I dived headfirst in the comic book world, I wanted to find out about Harley Quinn. And the first story I actually read about Harley Quinn was in The Joker, The Death of the Family. Now in her story in this book, it's actually very, very dark because the relationship between Joker and Harley Quinn is a very abusive relationship. It's not a good one. And I remember reading that story and just being like, wow, like this was really dark and, uh, and, and gritty and I wasn't really expecting that uh, from the comic book world, being new to comics. I like the dark stories with Harley Quinn. But what I discovered when I started reading Harley Quinn's own comic series was that her books are like for 13 year olds. And I would read them, but I was just like, oh my God, I feel like a teenage girl reading this. So some of my favorite versions of Harley that I've read about are things like The Death of the Family. I like things like um, Sean Murphy's White Knight, Brian Azzarello's Joker, even Tom King's Heroes in Crisis. I like Harley when she's not for kids. Now, as far as my favorite version of Harley Quinn looks wise, I mean, obviously, I mean, you have to respect her original look in the Jester outfit, the half red, half black. A lot of people, that is classic Harley, that's how she should look. If anything, her newer look, they've really sexualized her, which some people have a problem with. I'm not one of those people. They've had versions of her when she's just got plain blonde hair, versions of her where she's got half red, half black hair, like mine, as well as the Margot Robbie look, which is blonde with the blue and red tips. Now, my favorite version of Harlequin Cosmetics wise is actually the new 52 version of Harley where it was actually half red, half blue. I don't know what it is about that version of Harley Quinn, but that is my favorite. And I believe it was really just her look for the Suicide Squad. I might be wrong on that because uh, the new 52 was really not, um, was before my time in comics. Everything was pretty much before my time in comics. Now, some of the favorite Harley Quinn art that I've seen since getting into the world of comics would have to be things like, again, Sean Murphy's White Knight. Sean Murphy's art style is amazing. I loved his depiction of her. Uh, she's very clean looking in that. I believe she just had blonde hair. I can't even remember if she, she had the tips uh, in her hair uh, in that book. There's been many, many art germ variants of Harley Quinn, um, but one of my favorite images in the history of anything is Francisco Martinez uh, variant cover for Heroes in Crisis with Harley Quinn with the blood on her um, running down her face with booster gold glasses. That is one of my favorite images of all time. 
it's just got everything. It's dark, it's macabre, but yeah, it still has some sexiness about it for some reason. I also love the way she was drawn in Brian Azzarello's Joker by Lee Bermejo, 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 I don't know how to say the name. That art style is absolutely amazing. When those two work together, they also work together on Batman Damned. And I also liked Harley Quinn in that. She had the scars running down her body. Um, it was a really dark version of Harley Quinn um, in Batman Damned, and I also really loved that. Also, in the newest Black Label book about Harley Quinn, which is Harleen, which is basically a retelling of her origin story. The art in that is amazing too. I love some of the covers they've released for that series, um, and it's a very good read. If you are a Harley Quinn fan, and you like the more grown-up side of Harley Quinn, um, I do recommend that book, Harleen, um, released on DC Black Label. Now, last night, apart from getting on the Batman animated train, I also watched the first episode of Harley Quinn, the animated series, and literally five seconds into it, I was just like, oh my God. Like, the swearing, just, I did not expect it. I knew, obviously from the trailer, but I was just like, oh my God, this is amazing. I clearly like Harley when she's not for kids, because I'm not a kid. I'm a kid at heart though. But yeah, I love the quirkiness of the animated series. Um, just the way the characters uh, bounce off each other. It's a very fun animation, but as well as it is made for grown-ups, which I love. So I cannot wait to see more of the Harley Quinn animated series and see where, um, where the actual show is going. And that's all I really got to say for today. I just really got pumped up about Harley Quinn after watching her animated series last night. So I felt like I should make a video about her. So let me know in the comments below. Who's your favourite version of Harley Quinn? Is it the new 52 Harley? Is it the classic Harley? Is it the Margot Robbie Harley? That's okay too. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Let me know what you thought about the animated series. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Check out my back catalogue. I've got a whole bunch of content going on about cosplay, comic books, and nerd stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching today, guys. I'm Simple Simon, and until next time, keep it pimple.